Hello everyone, this is Angela back for part two of the coupon organization and in this video I want to show you how I uh, organize my binder and put it together. I've already showed you the basics of what I purchased and the items that I needed in order to put the binder together. Now I will show you how it's organized. You can see on the outside that I actually have two zipper compartments here, a large one and a smaller one. And a lot of times I'll use the smaller one. If I take my binder in the store with me while I'm shopping, which I do not always do. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes it all depends on how much shopping I have to do, if I'm taking my daughter in the store with me or not. So there's a lot of factors on whether or not my binder actually goes in the store with me. Usually I already have all my coupons pulled for my shopping trip, but your binder is very useful for those unexpected deals. A lot of times stores have unadvertised specials going on. There are clearance items that you may have coupons for where you can get the items very inexpensively or free. So that is when it is good to have your binder with you. But even though I may not always take my binder in the store with me, my binder goes everywhere with me. It will be in the car. So if I happen to run across some really good specials, it's just a matter of me going out to the car, grabbing my binder, coming back in and purchasing those items. Okay, now, on the outside, I will usually put any coupons that I am using for that visit, maybe my scissors. This compartment here would usually have my sale papers for the week, and it's very deep. It goes all the way back, okay? Then, once we open the binder up, I have on this, there's a nice, big uh, flap here. And, it's, and trust me, it's very wide because I have a folder full of unclipped coupons here. I also use this section to hold. I have a spreadsheet that I use to do my Myers deal, especially when I have more than one transaction. It makes it easy for me to see what I'm saving, what I'm purchasing. Uh, and that's during my really organized times. I also have some folders. When I'm doing three and four transactions, I like to separate my coupons by transaction, and that makes it very easy for me when I get to the register. Also inside this flap, I have my retail store coupons from Joann's and other various stores, and my restaurant coupons here. These are Long John Silver, and there's some more I tucked inside. So that's what I use that larger flap for is just a little storage for extraneous items. Then the zipper compartment in here are coupons that have been clipped but I have not had a chance to file them um, into the various sections of the binder but at least they're all together and I don't have to worry about them getting lost and um, you know just a, a lot of loose coupons floating around so that keeps everything nice and tidy. And the Next section you see there, this came with the binder. Um, this is where I keep my pad and my scissors, my pen, and my calculator. And on the, and I also have a zipper compartment attached to it that I keep my uh, paper clips and so forth in there. Next up is where I keep all of my store cards, reward cards keep those on me, even though most of these cards have keychain cards with them, so that's normally the ones that I use, but I still like to keep up with my larger cards, and um, this is a good way of doing that. I have um, behind that a section where I like to keep all of my coupons for either free items or high value coupons that are going to make an item free. These are the vocal point coupons, um, I'm sorry, the crystal light coupons that vocal point sent me and since they're two dollars a piece I guarantee you I will be getting some free crystal light with those coupons so to me that's a free coupon. Um, next are just some extra pages. I have um, just a synopsis of the coupon policies here, but I also have them printed out individually. This one came from freemania.net. Um, then I have the first few sections are my stores. Um, and I like to pull my coupons each week as I'm uh, looking through the sale paper to see where I'll be doing deals. I have a section for CVS. You see the coupons there. I keep the, on the back side, I keep the coupon policies and anything relevant to that particular store. I have Myers is next. You see I had a sale paper tucked in there. Um, normally it would be on the outside. I don't, it doesn't matter as long as I, I know where to find it. And usually the first pages 
from any of my store sections are the store coupons. I like to have those first. Then I put any manufactured coupons in the pages behind it. So all of these coupons on the front here are all Meyer coupons. Then I have Target. And you know Target is, has lots of store coupons out. Now Rite Aid. Um, I forgot to slide this in. I was using this as a demo for you all. This is Walgreens section. This is the uh, title pages over to the side. And then Walmart. Those stores I have pages for. I rarely shop there. And then I kind of ran out of pages. So I have Kroger's and just a little um, pocket protector. Also, uh, page protector, I mean. And I use page protectors for any type of information related to coupons that I want to have on hand. Okay, so that's what I use my page protectors for. And then after my store sections, then I get into all of my various categories. And I have baby, I have baking, breakfast, and it goes on and on. Um, some people like to keep their categories very simple. Some people have theirs very detailed as I do. The more detailed for me, the better since everything has its own tab. doesn't matter that I have a lot of categories because it still only takes me a moment. If I want to get to the dairy, I simply look for D and boom, I have all of my dairy coupons, my ice cream and milk and so forth. So, um, but you do and you set yours up according to what works for you. Mines are alphabetized. Some people go by the way the aisles are set up in their grocery stores. Um, like I said, it's all about what works for you. You customize your binder um, the way that it works for you. This is just giving you some idea of one way that it can be done and hopefully you can jump off from that and, and create your own binder. Okay? And it goes on and on. So you can see all of my coupons here. I usually go through my binder at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month to clear out any expired coupons. And when I go shopping, let me just show you what I use. This is the old school accordion coupon holder. And this is what I use most of the time. I will pull my coupons at the beginning of the week or look and search for those coupons to match up with the store deals. And I usually will file them um, in the various flaps when I'm going through the binder. But when I'm getting ready to go to the store, because my list and what I'm going to purchase changes. Just because there's a good deal on something does not mean I always purchase it. Once I know what I am going to purchase, I will pull those coupons and put them in my accordion coupon um, holder. And this is what goes in my purse. And this is on me 24-7. Unless for some reason I forget, like I did last Sunday, got up to CVS, and my uh, coupon holder was here at home. So um, that was not good. But normally it is with me at all times. And I have, even though I don't have it labeled, I do, I know because it's mine, which um, compartment is for which store. CVS coupons and items are in the front. Then you get to uh, Target. At the Target are the, uh, is the Meyer section, and then Walmart is behind that. And then I have a few extra compartments for coupons that I may end up not using in the store, but I want to get them out of the way, so on and so forth. You see, I even have a little list of items that I need to purchase. And for me, because I get sometimes so caught up on deals, I have to have a list of the other items that I need for my household because I will get in the store and get so wrapped up in getting my deals that I might forget. Plus, a list helps to keep you on point with what you are planning to spend. If you shop from a list and stick with your list and know the deals that you're doing for the week, that will greatly reduce how much um, extra spending you do and um, keep you from blowing whatever your weekly or monthly shopping budget is. Okay, so that's it for my coupon binder. Next, I will show you how I organize my coupon inserts and the other money-saving things that I use. Okay, goodbye.